Welcome to Excel Formula Efficiency Series number one. This is the series where we learn how to create formulas that calculate fast, especially for big spreadsheets. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Formula Efficiency Series. And number one, we got to talk about the sum product function. Not only the basics of it, but why a lot of people use double negatives, or some people use double negatives, and some people use multiplication. So, and the reason why is because for a lot of large spreadsheets with multiple condition or multiple criteria formulas like adding with lots of criteria lots of people use some products so we're gonna learn this, the basics of some products later we'll see how that there are actually much faster uh, formulas if you meet certain criteria than some product hey what does some product do let's scroll over here and all sum product does will take um, this array here, multiply it by a corresponding range here, and then add it together. So sum product, if we tell it these two ranges, it'll go 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2. So in essence, it would say uh, equals uh, this times this. So we get 2, 4, 2, and then sum product will add them all together. All right, so you ready? Let's see how to uh, learn the basics of sum product equals sum product and notice it says array one array two array three and separated by comma so you can simply uh, grab your range like this type a comma and then grab your range like this right and then it will do it for us it's very nice that way you could also do uh, something like this just to see explicitly what it's doing instead of having a um, ranges like we did up in this one you can actually have them in arrays that comma means a uh, column so it's an array built right into the formula same thing it'll give us eight another um, important use for the sum product and is uh, very important when you're doing multiple conditions is to understand how trues and falses works when they're multiplied by numbers so I'm gonna actually take this formula right here I actually have the formulas here. With, there's a space in front of them, so they won't calculate. Let's see if I can copy this one. And then I click right there, and then backspace, and gets rid of the space. Now this one, sum product, we're going to have true, false, false. And that's an array separated by commas. And uh, 2, 2, 2. Now watch this. There's a double negative there. Let's just get rid of it and see what it does. 0. Hey, wait a second. I thought in Boolean logic, which this is it, which this is what this is, true times two became two and false times two became zero, false times two became zero. Yes, that's true. But when you're doing some product and you have a comma, you have to convert trues and falses to ones and zeros. Well, one way to do it is to multiply by one, so one times that. Although you don't usually see that, what you usually see, especially if you go to the Mr. Excel discussion board, is double negative. What it does is like a negative of a negative, and it converts it to negative 1 and then to 1. So that will do it. That will convert this to 1, 0, 0, and when it multiplies, it will end up with 2. All right, so all we did there was see that that's one way to do it. Later, we'll talk about some advantages and disadvantages to that. Now, here's another way to do it. And um, notice, instead of a uh, double negative, we're just using multiply. Hey, wait a second. This is this sum product uh, part right here. There's no comma, right? Usually up here, we've separated the two ranges to be multiplied by commas, but not here. Perfectly legitimate to do it this way. If you do it this way, forget it. You don't have to do double negative because multiplying, the act of multiplying a true or false times a number converts it to a number. So this is an alternative to the double negative and the comma. Again here, we're still seeing the different ways of using um, some product. Later we'll talk about an advantage and disadvantage for multiplying. Now let's see a, a, a real example here. What we want is, we have a big, huge formula. See, it looks like we want PCC and Carlota. So we want to do 
uh, summing on two conditions. So we're going to equal sum product. And the first condition, and I'm going to do multiplying in this one, and then I'll do the same formula with double negatives. So if I'm multiplying, I'm going to say open parentheses, and I need the uh, uh, product column. So I'm going to click there. I'm going to hold Control Shift and Down Arrow to um, get my cursor to jump all the way down. And then I'm going to hit F4. That locks it. We don't need to lock it, but it's nice because it jumps the screen back up. Now I'm going to say equals, and I'm going to in quotes say Carlota. Now I have to close parentheses and multiply, open parentheses. And now we'll go to our customer. I'm going to click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4 equals, in quotes, PCC. Now, many of you know, if, if you watch my other videos, I never put criteria in formulas like this. I usually refer to them in cells. But for this first example, it's fine. Uh, uh, so then you close parentheses, and then you multiply. And now I need the sales column. Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. That just locks it. Again, we're not copying it anywhere, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to close parentheses here. Now, uh, one thing nice is this is a Boolean array. Trues and falses times trues and falses times some numbers will give us only these numbers when it's a, one, a true, which is a 1, a true, which is a 1, and then one of these numbers. And this is a, sort of like an array format, except for it's not. Some product lets us to do these lets us do these array calculations without control shift enter which you have to do for array forms this one some product you just hit enter now uh, let's see the same thing here I'm actually gonna uh, click here and s copy it scoop through there and copy it and click escape and then click here and control V now watch this I'm gonna put a double negative in front of here and then I'm gonna replace this with a comma and then double negative in front of that and replace this with a comma. So this is another way. What this does, the, the double negatives converts these trues and falses to ones and zeros. Now let's look in Formula Evaluator how uh, Excel evaluates these. I'm going to click here. And in 2007, you go to Formulas, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. In 2003, you go to Tools, uh, Menu, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula. So here's the sum product. It's first going to analyze there's these are this is the multiplying one. So it gets the trues and falses. And then it's uh, if you have to scroll down here, you see it's looking it's huge, huge. It's like thousands of rows. Ooh. It's going to look at the next range here and get a bunch of trues and falses. So now it's got uh, all the trues and falses and it has an underline which means it's going to multiply those together. Evaluate, and now we get our zeros and ones. Only where there's a one times this remaining range will it give us the uh, actual number. And you can see here there's a zeros, and then there's the sum. There's the sum. Only that number comes up when both conditions are met. Evaluate. If we do uh, this double negative, Alt uh, T U F, that's the keyboard shortcut for this, we can see evaluate, evaluate, evaluate. It converts that first range first to zeros and ones. If we go all the way down here, we can s see that this next one is uh, trues and falses. So the double negative converts it by itself to zeros and ones, whereas the multiplying, it takes the act of multiplying true times true to convert it to a 1. So and then we click Evaluate, Evaluate, and we get the same number. Now, that's all the, the how to do it and how it works technically. Now, let's go see an advantage and disadvantage to these. Uh, double negatives and uh, uh, multiply by 1. The first one is, if you multiply, it's more flexible than double negative. Now, what I mean by that is you can actually multiply different size ranges. But you can't do that with a double negative. Let's see this. Equals some product. And what I want is this right here. And I want to put a. Um, parentheses around this. That range right there equals this product 2, close parentheses, times. And I'm simply going to say this right here. Now, this could be done with a sum product, but I'm just doing a simple example to show you that with sum product, you can take a weird size range, which is more common than you think, and uh, multiply it by some trues and falses from a different range. And when I enter, you can see I get um, 
value. What did I do wrong here? Uh, time equals pro. Oh, yeah, right. I meant only to go to here. So I only wanted January, February. So I get 9. Now let's see what happens when I do the same thing with double negative. Equals sum product, double negative, open parentheses. This equals the product, close parentheses, comma, and then this range right here. It just won't do it with a double negative. You get a value error. So one advantage, one point for multiplication when you have different size ranges. All right, so now what about text? Um, I'm actually going to hide this right here so we can see it nice and right click hide. I'm right clicking hiding. What we have here is a situation where I want to add up April given this range right here, but there's a, uh, a word. Now, this is a small example. There's very many large sets that have lots of words and lots of numbers, and you want to just analyze the numbers, and you need a formula that will ignore those. Well, double negative will ignore them. So equals some product, and we're going to say uh, double negative uh, in no, oh, no, we don't need, uh, yeah, double negative in parentheses, and we'll uh, select products, equals product to close parentheses, comma, and then we'll simply highlight this right here. Now, notice that we're asking product two, and the product one has number one, so the, the formula is not going to even, is, doesn't even need that number there. But nevertheless, um, it, uh, some product, if we were multiplying, wouldn't allow this. So let's hit en uh, close parentheses and enter. You can see that it gets 2. Now let's do this very same uh, formula there with multiplying. So I'm going to take uh, this right here equals this, close parentheses, times this range right here. Now remember, we don't even need that cell right there. But forget it. If you're multiplying, it's not going to let you do it. So chalk that one up for double negative. Now a couple other ones, uh, double negative uh, tends to be faster than multiplying. So I have a huge sum product with multiple conditions here with all these double negatives. And then I have the very same calculation here with multiplying. Now if we, in our next video, we'll see how to um, uh, time our formulas. And if you were to time these ones, there's only 2,500 rows, so there really is no difference. Um, in our final video in this series, number 12, we'll have like 50,000 rows, and we'll compare every function we see in this video series and then find out which one's faster. And in that case, since we have so much data, double negative will be faster than multiplying. So that's another plus for double negative. Uh, another thing about some product is uh, if we have this formula right here, sum product, remember, you don't have to control shift enter. So when you hit enter, it calculates. Um, an another alternative to uh, sum product is using sum. Use the same exact multiplying uh, true, falses, etc., as you do with the sum product, except for you can just use sum, sum. And if you hit enter, it doesn't work. But if you hold control and shift and hit enter, which makes this a real array formula, it'll calculate. So there's two things about this. Sum product tends to be, uh, will calculate faster. So and up here it says sum array is usually slower. So the sum array is slower. And in our final video, we'll compare all of these and we'll see that it is uh, slower for huge spreadsheets. The other problem with the uh, sum array formula and the advantage to sum product is you, sum requires control shift enter and sum product does not. So that's a little bit about some product. When we come back, we'll see how to time our formulas.